everybody, Erwan here and welcome to my very first Let's Play video. Here you can see my main World of Warcraft character, Erwan, of course. Uh, she's a warlock. She's very purple with her matching mount and her matching pet. <laughs> I've, I have um, pretty much at, at least one of every class in the game and duplicates of many. And every single one of them is at least level 90 or above. But she has been my main pretty much for all 13 years of WoW. And, um, she is, I don't know, I, w I always just come back to her. She's my number one. She's who I play. But the reason that I wanted to make this video, um, other than the fact that I was going to do Let's Play videos, was also to show you guys this really cool event that happens in World of Warcraft called uh, Feast of Winter Vale. Um, I think it's actually over by now, but I recorded this in advance before Christmas. And while it's still technically kind of like near the Christmas sort of time frame, I wanted to show you guys what the event looks like. Um, I'm also going to put out another video where I'm going to show kind of how to play World of Warcraft starting as a level 1. So this would be a good sort of idea of the difference between the two, like a high level character and a guild and what it, what they look like and the kind of things that they have access to and all that, versus which you guys will see later on, on a much lower level, well, a starter character really, and um, what it's like to start out fresh, have nothing, and what it's like to already be like this, and as you can see, have a whole bunch of different crap, <laughs> which if you don't play WoW, that's World of Warcraft for short, you won't really know what any of this is. If you do play WoW, well, then you know exactly what I'm talking about, and you probably recognize almost everything I have in my bank and my bags. To be honest with you, I don't recognize half the stuff I have in here because I haven't played in a long time. <laughs> I just reinstated my account recently, so um, I think I wanted to show you guys because I wasn't able to show this in the in I'm not gonna be able to show this in the previous video with the low level character, but um, for a high level character, there's a lot of different titles that you can choose from that you get access to once you're high level. Well, you have to earn them all, of course. And But some of them won't unlock until you are much high level. Um, you can save what kind of uh, equipment set you have in your character. Um, your character is going to have much better gear and things like that, of course. My character right now is pretty much covered in epics. Um, by the time you're high level, there's a bunch of different factions that you can become that you can grind reputation with, become uh, exalted with, and that unlocks certain things for you, like separate special pets or special mounts or other special abilities. You get a lot of different currencies that become unlocked to you as well that you would not really be able to use as low level, that you would have no use for as low level because you wouldn't be able to deal with any of the mobs that have to do with all these currencies. Um, She's also, of course, wearing mostly high-level gear, like um, I'm going to be talking in my beginner video about the difference between the different types of gear, rare versus epic, or just uncommon, things like that. And as a higher level, of course, you want to be an epic or above gear, but she hasn't been played in a while, so she has some blues, which are just rares, but that's okay. But, um... Oh my goodness, that's right. I think I also wanted to show you guys um, that you can try stuff on. Like, there's a gear set I have in here. And if, when you right-click it in your bag, you can try it on and see what it looks like on your character before you equip it so you can decide whether or not you want to wear it. Is my cat dancing? You look at my little pet, he's dancing. I didn't know they did that. That's adorable. Oh my goodness. Aw. <laughs> well, now I love him even more. She also, the reason I use this particular set on her, um, which is a transmogrified set, which I will explain later on for those of you that are new to World of Warcraft, is because it has those really cool wings. Um, whenever she jumps, they pop out and they do that. It's a really cool animation effect. And this set and the red version of this set are the only ones that have this cool animation effect and the only drop in a Burning Crusade raid, which was the first expansion to ever come out in World of Warcraft and happened a very long time ago. So, it's not, I'm not saying you can't get the set now, I'm just saying that this set was from a really long time ago. So, and I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome. 
Also, when you're a high-level character, you can access something called a garrison, which was released a couple of expansions ago. Well, not even a couple. It was like the expansion before this one. As you can see from the loading screen, Warlords or Draenor. It is basically the closest Blizzard has ever come to player housing. There, maybe they'll do actual player housing at some point in the future. I do think that's something that people ask them about in BlizzCon, almost every single BlizzCon. But thus far, this is the closest that we have to player housing. Um, the Horde and the Alliance each get one in a specified part of a zone, and they essentially all look the same. There isn't really any way to customize them. You can choose, I suppose, what I what kind of um, little not houses but like what little NPC zones you activate in yours but for the most part all the different activation options remain the same so this is what the horde one looks like it is in the very snowy area it, it's not it's not snowing here because it's winter it's snowing here because this zone is always winter it is permanently winter so it always looks like this no matter what time of the year it is in the real world or in the game um, the game doesn't actually have um, seasons per se. Basically, a zone will always have one type of season. This one will always have winter, another one will always have spring, that sort of thing. But you basically get this whole area to yourself, and it is... It's not tailored to you per se, but you're the only one that can really see what's inside of it. Unless you invite uh, another player to a party with you, and then they can come inside and they will see the same thing you see and be able to interact with you and your NPCs, non-playable characters as well. Because otherwise, if they're not in a party with you, then when they come into this area, they'll just see their own garrison if they have one. So that would be the only way for them to see yours. Um, what they're good for, or at least they were in, during Draenor, they were good for having your own little farming nodes for the gathering professions. And even if you don't have gathering professions, you can still have access to these. So you can get some of your own herbs and some of your own ore, which is great, especially if you don't actually have herbalism or mining on your character. You can still have access to some of these things. Like, as you can see, this is my little herbalism area. So right now, I will show you guys that she is picking some herbs that have already spawned. Um, I'm not sure how often they respawn. I don't think it's as seldom as once daily, but it's definitely not like a super repetitive thing. It's not like every hour in the hour or anything like that, but they don't take too long to respawn. It's a good supplement to having these type of supplies, but I wouldn't necessarily just so only rely on your garrison to gain them. And in any case, now that Legion is out, well, most people wouldn't really go back to the garrison. They have no reason to, I guess, because this is the old expansion, so why come back to it unless you just want to go to your quote-unquote little home? This is the mine that you get, and as you can see, she you can see on the mini-map all those little yellow dots, those are mining nodes. And my character doesn't have mining, but she is going to be able to mine them because they are in her garrison. She's going to get those now. This video isn't just about Winter Veil, as you can see. It is also meant to be like a comparison video to give you guys some idea of what this game looks like at a higher level versus what you will see later on in the next video, what this game looks like in a lower level where I will actually teach you how to play if you have never played it at all. And for those that are interested in trying it out, and I see no reason why not, honestly, um, World of Warcraft has been around for 13 years, and there has been a lot of different MMORPGs since then, and it has remained my favorite for all 13 years. Like, I've tried all the other games, but I still come back to WoW without fail. <laughs> like, there's just something about it, you know? It feels like home. It, that's, that's, what it, that's what it is. Every time you log in, it just feels like coming home. So, um, you can actually, you don't, it's one of the few MMORPGs that has a monthly subscription that you do have to pay for, and it's $14.95 a month. If you just do it on a monthly basis, they have other options, of course, like every six months or every year, and they give you different payment options for that. 
and of course the bigger ones you choose the more money you save I think it's like if you if you pay for a year's worth at a time then it only works out to be like eleven dollars a month something like that but you can try out the game up until level 20 for free you can just um, create an account on Blizzard or on Battle.net rather which I will link in the description and you will be able to create a character and give the game a try. Now there will be um, certain things that you won't be able to do in the game because it is a trial version. Um, I think it, it's restricted in the sense that you can't send anybody private messages and you can't trade and you can't send mail so you're not going to be doing the full version of the game but you can test out the basics of it you know like what the questing is like, um, what the game looks like in general, the different zones, killing creatures, testing out whatever class you choose. So it, it gives you a good general idea what the game is like. Here I am just kind of showing you guys this beautiful world. <laughs> world of Warcraft is one of the more simplified looking games and believe me it has been upgraded like this is the upgraded version of the graphics from what it used to look like way back in the beginning vanilla wow but it still has a very sort of like cartoony feel to it that a lot of the more current MMOs don't have but that's kind of part of its appeal I think and it doesn't at all take away from the beauty of the world at least in my opinion I still think it's a gorgeous game. And once you exit the garrison, you sort of kind of phase out on the zone. Like you can see here that on the outside of my little home, this is what the whole zone looks like. It's all just snow and ice with some random bits of lava. <laughs> There's a couple of volcanoes here and there. But the whole zone is snowy like this. Um, that's what the Horde get. They get snow and cold. The Horde are kind of, in my opinion, the underdogs. This is what the map looks like and you can zoom out of the map to see what zone you are in and what zones are around you and what quests you currently have going on. Which you can of course also track. Like if you click on the quest it'll show you what zone it's in. The zones it's showing you now are actually in the new expansion. Well, and you can also you can use the Hearthstone, which is something that every character gets from level one, and you can bind it to a particular inn so that you can always go back to that one particular inn no matter where you are in the world. For example, I have mine bound to the Horde capital, Ogamar, which is where she's now going to pop up when the loading screen finishes. Once um, Warlords of Draenor came out, we kind of got a second Hearthstone, which was meant for the garrison to always take you back to your garrison. So that you wouldn't have to bind your Hearthstone to the garrison and then waste a cooldown on that. So you have a separate one for the garrison and a separate one for anywhere else you want to be. So this is Ogumar, this is the Horde capital. This is where a lot of people hang out, even though the newest expansion has like a whole new place for the Horde to be. But this is where everybody still mostly hangs out. Oh, that's right. This event has some like little quests and they give you presents. Okay, I'm going to do these so you guys can kind of see what it's like. World of Warcraft has holiday events all year round. There's always something going on. And they're usually sort of synonymous with whatever's going on in the real world. So right now is the Feast of Winter Vale, which is the WoW equivalent of Christmas. Whereas in February, you're going to get another event that's very Valentine's Day like with hearts and love and stuff like that. Um, around Easter there's another event where you collect eggs and things like that. I'm lazy. I don't actually plan on like making the gingerbread cookies. You can. There's like a recipe and you can cook them yourself but I don't think this character has cooking. I don't remember actually. I, it's one of the professions I never bothered with so if you're lazy like me you can just go in the auction house and buy yourself some cookies and that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just trying to find, I don't want to buy like a single cookie five times so I'm looking for a stack of five cookies because that's how many I need. <laughs> Damn these people putting them up one by one. God who has the patience? 
They probably have an add-on so they do this for them. There's an add-on for anything these days. I mean, my entire user interface that you guys see here now is like one massive add-on. This is not what the regular in-game UI looks like. I have a completely customized one, so <laughs> sorry. I really, I'm really not wanting to talk when it comes to add-ons. I use a lot of them. Oh, there we go. Stack of five. Okay, let's find the first one. That'll be the cheapest one. Ba bam Here we go. See how much cheaper that is? Because if I bought the cookies one by one for eight gold, I would have paid 40 gold. But this time I only paid 26. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, let's get some milk and cookies. So when you buy something in the auction house, the item's going to appear in your mailbox. And there's the mailbox. And here I am taking out my stuff. The open all button is new, by the way, and it is amazing. <laughs> oh, I love it. Come on, Great Father Winter. What kind of a present do you have for me? Yay! I got a present. Oh, there's another quest. There's a continuation. Stolen treats, free Mets and the reindeer. Okay, where is Metzen? Okay, so it's going to be in... Of course, he's over there. All right. Let's fly! Oh, that's right. There's flying in this game, y'all. Booyah! Check it out. Look how high I can go on my purple dragon. That's one of the great things about this game is the flying. But, of course, you have to be a high enough level. Or rather, you have to max out the current expansion max level. And um, more often than not you have to do some sort of stuff to unlock the flying itself. Like, you can't just, okay, I'm 110 now, I'm gonna fly. No, you need to pay a bunch of gold to buy the newest level of flying. And you now also have to do a bunch of other stuff, like become exalted with factions and things like that. So I just went down to grab my presents from my previous quest because I don't want to forget. I'm going to open them all later, see what we got. It's probably going to be consumables. Oh my god, this lag. I'm sorry. For the record, the unofficial nickname of this city is Lagrimar. And you can see why. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, wait. Somebody... Did somebody in chat say something about a present? No, I think I must have... I didn't see that. Okay, well, I got it. Um, we gotta go to a different continent for this quest, so I'm gonna wait for the zeppelin here. You can take a zeppelin to another continent. You can't fly to the continent; it crosses an ocean, so you can't fly there. But you can take the zeppelin, and it's gonna take you there. Yeah. See, you guys, I told you consumables. That's what we have in there. Woohoo! Presents. Hehe. <laughs> Candy cane, eat it. All right, what happens when I eat it? Let's find out. Nothing. Mmm, peppermint. Okay. So for five minutes, I'm saying mmm, peppermint. Sometimes when you eat stuff, it like does special things for you. Like most consumables are just like they'll replenish your health and your mana if you have it. But other times, like in that case, if you eat it, then you can gather resources faster. Or it will give you another kind of in-game buff. And, uh, yeah. But I don't really have any use for these. They're, like, low levels. So I'm just kind of getting rid of them. I don't want them to take up room in my inventory. I'm like, I have so much room. I have a lot. I have huge bags. But I'm paranoid about just not having stuff take up space. I don't know. It bothers me. It's, it's an OCD thing. I have my little OCD. <laughs> Shrug. Wait, no! They are giving presents! That person, Molly Moo. They're giving out gifts. Ooh. Well. Ugh, oh, but the Zeppelin is gonna be here in a minute. Um. Okay. You know. I'm probably just gonna go and grab the present really quickly and then come back up here. It's not often that people give out gifts just like that. And who knows, it might be something nice. It could be something, it could, it could just be like literal trash that they wrapped. Because you can buy wrapping paper and wrap virtually anything and turn it into a gift. 
So it could be actual trash, but it could be treasure. There are sometimes very generous players and they just give stuff away. Maybe because they're like quitting the game or just to be nice because tis the season. Hmm. Do I have time? You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go find this person and then I'm just going to come back here and grab the Zeppelin because it's not like they don't ever come again. <laughs> There'll be another one. Okay, where is the slums? I'm trying to remember what the goblin slums are. Oh man, Zeppelin just got here too. Oh. Oh no, forget it, forget it. It's fine, it's fine. I'll take another one. It's fine, it's fine. I'm just gonna... Let's go find this Molly Moo person. Goblin slums. I'm trying to remember who the slums are. Mm -mm -mm. Ogumar used to not look like all like this. They completely redid it. So it's just like, I'm not... It can be confusing if you're not used to it. And I, I haven't had a chance to like get used to the new layout yet. Okay, so, but I think I'm in the right place. I'm in the goblin slums. I'm just gonna do a slash target and the person's name and ah. the system will automatically target them for me. Ah, I have them selected. There they are, they're right in front of me. Cool, okay. Yay. Okay, so they said to just open trade with them and they'll give you a present, but I don't want to be rude, so I'm just going to poke them and ask them. Presents? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> Presents, really? Open trade. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited. Open trade. Yay! I got a present. Thank you. Quite a nice person. I hope it's not crap. <laughs> it could be, but I feel like I can trust them for some reason. I don't know. I wonder why their name is Molly Moo. I bet they're actually a Tauren, even though they don't look like one right now. Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness! They gave me a rare pet! I don't have one of these! And I collect them too! Oh, that's so awesome! I'm gonna thank them, like, for real! Thank you so much. I don't have... I can't type. I don't have that one. Yay! Can we just pretend that I typed that normally without any problems? Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited, you guys. There's like three or four different versions of the Everbloom Pea Check because they come in like different colors because they're basically like a mini, a little mini, what's it called? What's it called? Peacock. Like a little mini peacock pet. So shots, they come shots. in different colors. Okay. Nine seconds, shots. I'm going to learn that ability. Yay! And now, I'm going to view them in the journal and summon them so I can see what they look like. Oh, that's cute! Oh, look at him! There he is! He's all green and orange with a purpley blue tail. What a little cutie! You guys! What an awesome present! This is so great! Okay, I'm excited. Alright. I've gotten my present. I'm a happy camper with my cute little birdie who I love. Oh, I love my little birdie. Okay. Well, time to catch the Zeppelin. Oh my god, there's one coming right now. Yes! The timing is perfect. Let me see if I can like land right onto it. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yes, bullseye. Bam. Wow, this person has a really cool mount. Wow, that looks neat. He looks like he's on fire. Oh, well, yeah, he is literally on fire. Hey, dude, your mount's like burning. <laughs> Are you okay? Corrupted Dreadwing. Oh, it's probably a raid mount that I'm never going to get. <clears throat> I used to raid hardcore, you guys, but, you know, life happened. Ooh, look at him stretch his wings. Well then. So we wait on the Zeppelin, and the Zeppelin slowly takes us out. We don't actually see the full-on... Are people being mean to Molly now? How dare they? Stop that. Who is rude to somebody that gives out a free gift? Like a real one. Oh my goodness. I'm going to yell at them. 
Leave mommy alone. I'll uh, leave Brittany alone voice. <laughs> leave him alone. Honestly. Any hoosers. Oh yeah, you can see the little um, chat bubbles? That's the NPCs talking to each other. They do that. They'll like, they'll converse to themselves, to one another, to occasionally the um, player. Like generic responses of course and stuff, but you know. So, here goes the Zeppelin. But you don't actually see the full trip of the Zeppelin. Of course, that would be, um, that would make the game crash. <laughs> So after a little while, you get a loading screen and it shows your path, so to speak. It shows where you're leaving from and where you're going to. Are we going to see that? No. There we go. So the circle, the target looking circle is where we're coming from and the X marks the spot is where we're headed to. So as you can see right now, I'm on a totally different continent, Kalimdor. And the continent we're heading to is the Eastern Kingdoms, where we're going to do our holiday quest to save a reindeer named Metzen, who was actually named after one of the game developers, Chris Metzen, who is no longer with the company. I think he left the company last year, but he was, I think, the lead story designer. He's basically in charge of all the lore. Or, well, he was in charge of all the lore. I keep saying is, it was a huge blow to some of us when he left and I get why he did it, he wanted to spend time with his family, blah blah blah, but it's just not the same without him. It's, it's I don't know, it's not the same. All right, so we are going, where we have to go? We have to go to Hillsborough Foothills, so we're gonna fly a little to the left. Yeah, I gotta turn around basically. You can see your quest when, when your large map isn't up on the mini map, if you're looking down, you can see a little yellow arrow. And that is the quest that you basically have selected, the one that you're currently doing. So you don't have to have the map up and blocking your vision while you're navigating towards your quest. You can just basically follow the yellow, the little yellow arrow. And I apologize for the lag. We're flying over another Horde city, even though you can't see it because it's actually underground. It's under the ruins. It's called the Undercity. But um, that's why we have that maze. Oh my god, it's it's getting worse. Oh no. Oh no, everything is pixelating. Oh no. I really hope we're not going to crash. Oh my goodness. I can see through the mountains and we're not moving anymore. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to give it a second. Because I really don't want to crash. <laughs> Not during doing this. Okay, I think we're okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Sorry about that. You can see little tiny mobs running around beneath us. Those are murlocs. That looks like the bane of every player's existence. <laughs> Even though they're like the unofficial blizzard mascot. It's like murloc everything. That is the Dalaran Crater. Dalaran was a massive mage city that had been uprooted and moved, like the whole city, as if a giant picked it up and plucked it out of the ground and put it somewhere else. It's been moved like three times. It's somewhere new again. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're almost here. Aw, oh, they already killed the Grinch! The Grinch. Alright, the abominable Grinch. Well, there's the little reindeer. Okay, I'm supposed to take one of these stolen traits. He has himself a nice little Christmassy hovel set up there. Look at this. Look at all those gifts and stuff. Uh-oh. Enemy players. Don't hurt me. Okay. Oh, that's weird. He freed the reindeer, but I got credit for it. I mean, thanks. Please don't kill me. If you see a player and you can see their health bar above their heads like that, that means that's an enemy player and they can kill you. I mean, you can see like the name of a friendly player and it's going to be green, but I'm not going to see a health bar there unless I specifically put it there and it's going to be a different kind of health bar because she's a friendly player. Those guys, you can see the health bar and their names are in red. So they're alliance and they can hurt me. I mean, I can also hurt them. But, well, not in this case, because they're all 110 and I'm only 97, so... Unless this rogue protects me... Oh, but she disappeared, because she doesn't want to get killed either. Great! 
Maybe I shouldn't just like sit on the ground. I'm a sitting duck. I'm a sitting dragon. <laughs> I mean, they don't seem to be hostile. I think they're just waiting for the respawn of the monster. So, um... Hmm. They seem to be okay for now. I think I'll be alright. You can see that guy's magic carpet shadow on the ground. Any other guy's shadow. Like, I know you guys are here. <laughs> You're making me really nervous. Oh, two against one. Not that I would even have a chance against one of them because they're level 110. They're way higher than me. You could one shot me, basically, probably. Hmm. Oh god, there's a third one? No! <laughs> Oh my word. I'm surrounded. I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go up in the air in case one of them starts to attack me so I can make a clean getaway. I mean, they seem to be fine now, but like, you never know. Come on, dude, respawn. Oh, is she naked? <laughs> She's wearing a bikini. What is she doing? Oh, she's in that little toy, that little rocking horse type of toy. In a Santa outfit. That is adorable. I think I have one of those. You know what? I'm going to take out a toy too. Maybe like, if we do toy stuff, then they'll, the Alliance will just be like, oh yeah, let's do toy stuff. Let's be friends. Oh look, there's another Hori. Okay, there's three of us now, so I don't feel so alone anymore. Okay, I'm going to take out some toys while we're waiting, because apparently it's going to take a while. That's a puntable marmot, and literally all that happens is, like, you can hit it, you can kick it with your leg. Like, punt. That's it. That's all it does. <sighs> There's a bunch of little toys. See, look, he's going to, ah, he punted it. He did it. <laughs> he landed just to do that. That's it. He landed, he punted it, and then he went away. There's also this turnip punching bag. It's essentially kind of like a like a, a dummy, and you could just attack it. But it looks like a giant turnip. Yep. This game has a lot of weird little toys like that, and they don't really do any damage or anything, or or buff you in any way, or give you any sort of stats. It's quite literally all just for fun. It's just fun and games. It's fun and games within a game. This one's quite rare. It's a very, very rare drop. It turns you into a monkey in a bubble. Yeah. Aw, I thought he would dance, but he doesn't. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Whatever. I'm a monkey in a bubble. It's awesome. Look at me. Tee hee. I think I kind of look like the Grange. Similar models. In the faces, at least. It's actually like a gorilla in a bubble, but it's called monkey in a bubble. Oh look, he summoned us some tea. We're all playing with toys now. What else do I have that's interesting? I'm trying to find stuff that I could like put up that they can also play with. It's an incense stick. Makes this. It's a peace offering for me. It's supposed to make you feel all mellow and chill, so I'm like, hey guys, let's mellow out. Let's not fight. Yeah. I'm gonna do like incense, and y'all can get drunk over there, and we'll just. Oh my god, the Grinch is out! There he is! Oh crap. Okay. I'm attacking him, I'm attacking him. I don't think I'm doing a lot of damage to him, but I'm just gonna. I think one of them accidentally hit me. Yeah. It's okay. We didn't mean it. <laughs> Alright. We got this. He's dead! Hooray! Oh, he doesn't drop anything? What the hell is the point of all this? I guess it was just for the quest, like you're supposed to kill him and then you're supposed to free the reindeer and all the other guys and that's it. But my reindeer was already freed, so it's okay. No worries. It was still fun. You guys kind of got to see what the combat looked like. 
and you got to see what some of the Wintervale stuff looked like. There's fun things like that happening in the game. Hey, isn't that the guy that was in the Zeppelin with us with the cool mail? Alright, I'm going to find a safe spot where I can hearth back to Ogamar because my hearthstone is back up. It has like a, a cooldown on it, 15 minutes or something. I think, well, it used to be like an hour, then it made 30 minutes, now I think it's 15 minutes. But in any event, you can't use it again right away. But I'm going to use it now to get back to Ogamar. And turning my quest. Loading screen. Loading screen. Download error. Loading screen done. You guys probably, if you play the game, you recognize everybody on that loading screen. And if you don't, there's no way for me to really explain to you who they are. <laughs> but I'll make more videos of this, and anybody who wants to know like anything about the game, ask away. I am well versed in it. Okay, let's go ahead on the quest. Ta-da! Here you go. Yay! Oh, we actually get experience for this? That's kind of cool. Alright, got another present. Let's go talk to Great Grandfather Winter. Well, he's actually just Great Father Winter. I might call him Great Grandfather. He's not a grandfather. What are you doing? There we go. Okay, let's go talk to him. And we got another present. Yay! We're done! Let's see what's inside. Oh, some more consumables. Ooh, and a little race car. Ooh. I don't need the fruitcake. What am I going to do with that? It doesn't matter. And what else do we have here? Uh, oh, yeah, we get that every year. Pattern for the green holiday shirt. I think I already just have one. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to pick up tailoring just to make that one little pattern but I am going to test out this cute little race car um, I'm going to go outside and do that because it's too crowded in here so you guys won't see it let's go outside the gates of Ogamar. this is a very popular dueling area but um, okay let's look at the little race car okay right click and go. Oh, that's it. That's how far it went. That flag wasn't part of it, by the way. That's somebody's doing flag, but yeah. Ta-da! And then it disappears. You can use those with other players and, like, race against each other. Just for fun. That's pretty cute. I'll hold on to the rest and maybe race somebody later. One of these guys. Alright. Well... Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And see you next time. Bye.